Good morning, morning Love in High school. school. Welcome back to the Tiger Talk. I'm Brooke Morris. And I'm Jason Marmer. And these are your morning and wait. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, March 19th. And these are your morning announcements. LLS is a nonprofit organization and which raises money for blood cancer research. Our overall goal, our mission with LLS is to help as many people as possible and um, monetarily our goal is to raise $100,000 and hopefully we'll get there by the end of the campaign. Uh, our overall goal and mission at LLS is to raise enough money so that you don't have to raise money. Um, and basically what that means is that we want to fund cancer research so that cancer and specifically blood cancer is eliminated from our society. Just go by partnering with businesses, um, making t-shirts, and doing local fundraisers to help get money. So, I was inspired to become involved with LLS because my brother did it while he was in high school, and he had a good experience with it, as well as because my uncle Jeff battled cancer, and I've just seen the way it has affected his life today. Um, so both my grandpas had cancer. Um, it wasn't blood cancer, but I'm just trying to do my part um, and hope that no family has to go through what my family's gone through. Yeah, I mean, I feel like everyone has known someone that has gone through some kind of cancer. It doesn't have to be blood cancer. Um, and it's just knowing that feeling that when you lose someone, you know, you don't want anyone else to experience that. Um, that's why you go out and you fundraise. One of the biggest challenges Team Curate 5.0 faces when fundraising is bringing out people to events and also trying to match donations and making sure they get into our account properly. Uh, I remember one time when I was volunteering down in downtown Loveland, uh, there was this eight-year-old that came up to our stand, and you know, being the classic Harrison, I was like, I don't even remember what I was like, I don't know. Um, I asked the eight-year-old if they'd like to donate, even though she was eight year old, years old and had like no money. She so, didn't respond. Did she? Yeah, I think she ran away after that. One of my favorite memories is hearing all the people's different stories that they can share with us whenever they donate and just seeing how their lives have all been touched and how we're helping them. Thank you to everyone who supported LLS in raising over $700,000 in the Cincy area. Another community member doing big things is Evagoras. Has anyone checked up on him recently? Yeah, we interviewed him the other day. Who am I here with today? Evagoras Papasavas. You raced USF 2000, right? Yep, USF 2000. So how's your career been so far? Uh, my career so far, it's been it's been a really good uh, career for like my first my first you know actual legit career in um, in full size race cars uh, after making the transition to go karts. I started in uh, 2022. It uh, was my first season. I only did half a season, um, so I learned a lot. Uh, you know, finished in the top ten a few races. I uh, made some really good progress learning, and then uh, 2023 was my first full year. Uh, that year, you know, I was consistently competing at the front, uh, getting podiums, wins, and uh, good qualifying positions. Um, and then this year, 2024, this is the year, now, you know, my goal is to win the championship, to get the uh, the scholarship money to move up to the next level. So, you know, so far it's been, it's been a pretty good um, increase of, you know, my skill and my learning. Uh, throughout the career so yeah it's pretty pretty good so far any new sponsorships lately i uh, just got a new sponsorship from uh rp diamond uh you know you probably you obviously know who rp diamond is and really thankful for that sponsorship their local local sponsorships are really important and uh, the people at rp diamond are great they're fans of racing as well so that's a really good connection that we have okay and then would you like to tell me about your journey to usf 2000 uh so i started in go-karts when i was eight years old um, you know, I just did some like some regional uh, level around here and, and in Indianapolis, and then I started doing national karting, uh, competing against the best drivers uh, in the in the U.S. And not only that, but also some of the best drivers in the world uh, competing in karting. 
And then I made the transition from karting into USF 2000 through J. Howard Driver Development. They, um, you know, they, they recruited me from one of the national events. Uh, and then I got, and then, you know, we made a connection with them and I started going with uh, J. Howard Driver Development to, to make my uh, transition into full-size race cars. And what was your most exciting uh, moment from racing in 2023? Uh, 2023, uh, you know, I got a lot of second places, third places, but um, I got my first win in this, uh, in full-size race cars in USF 2000. So it was really a very memorable moment for me. And um, I'll just, I'll never forget that moment. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Speaking of sports, our field reporter spoke with the captains of each spring sport. Let's head over to Susie and Gabe to take a deeper dive. Who am I here with? I'm Carter Lucas, captain of the men's volleyball team. Uh, my name is Reed Niven. I'm a senior, and I'm one of the captains for the volleyball team. Hannah Polakowski. Liam Amy. Brad Gray. Poppy. Sarah Bebout. Jason Dean. Abby Arlano. Uh, Vincent Michael DeSalvo, senior captain. What are your goals this season? Um, my goals this season for softball is just to have fun and win a lot of games. <laughs> uh, we're hoping to win the ECC this season, but we got to beat Walnut. They beat us last year, so hoping to do that. Our goal this season is to win the ECC. Um, it's definitely possible, but it'll be a challenge. You know, just get some wins out there, bond a little more, and uh, have a good season. Um, we want to score 40 points at state. Um, we want to beat Mason at districts and, you know, just be like a cohesive team. To win the ECC! Um, what's your favorite thing to do in track? I'm doing like 400. 400? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like, I like uh, running stuff and, and yeah. What are you most excited for this season? Um, well, I'm trying to get to state, so I'm just kind of motivating myself to do that. And our team is looking pretty good, so I'm excited to go beat some people. Um, you know, we're looking to win ECC this year. We have a pretty uh, good and deep team, so pretty excited. Uh, win the ECC. Excited to win. And what is your favorite memory? Uh, probably when I set the school record at Outdoor State last year. My favorite memory is probably our Florida trip. I think it was really fun and a good bonding experience. Um, <laughs> uh, I would say JV year playing West Claremont, I caught a foul ball and it was really high. <laughs> uh, probably beating Baden um, in the fifth set by two points. So basically the max amount of points that you can play in volleyball. Um, yeah, the bus ride home after. As the spring sports come back, so does the spring weather. Speaking of spring weather, Jason is actually in Sulaimania right now with your weather report. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, today I'm in the beautiful city of Sulaimania Hi. in the Iraqi desert. Um, today it's looking like a high of 66 with a low of 35. Uh, it's pretty cloudy, but tomorrow we got suns out. It'll be 36 degrees at the low and 70 degrees at the high. Friday is partly cloudy, 46 degrees with 69 degree high. Saturday will be sunny again with a 45 degree low and a 65 degree high. Sunday will be partly cloudy with 39 degree low and 64 degrees high. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looking pretty gloomy. We got a chance of rain on Tuesday, all with a high in the mid 60s. Back to you, Brooke. And now we're back at Loveland, Ohio with your weekly weather report. Today we have a low of 35 and a high of 61. Tomorrow, there's a 31% chance of rain with a low of 35 and a high of 62. And on Friday, we have a high of 71 and a low of 35. Now it's on to Saturday, we have a low of 35 and a high of 61. On Sunday, I do not know what just happened. We're gonna cut back to you. The weather doesn't suit you here in Loveland. Let's see where other Loveland students are heading for spring break. We're going to go ask people their plans for spring break. What are your plans for spring break? My plans over spring break include uh, a little TLC in Nashville. That's where I'll be. Uh, do not uh, meet me down there, though, if you're a child. If you're an adult, yes, I have no problem with that. But if you are a child, I will not act like I know you at all. What are your plans for spring break? Uh trying to clean the school, get it a little, little bit bad, better when you come back? Um, I'm going to Key West over Spring Lake. Um, 
I'm going to Florida with my family. Um, I'm going to Florida with my mom. Have fun and to go to Florida. Um, I'm going to Disney World with my family. Thank you. Four. Watching. Love. Land. High. School.